All right, we are going to do some of our practice problems. Um, if you are in school, you're working with me, um, so you should not be doing this on your own unless you didn't get finished when you were with me. Um, if you are at home, this is where you come to check your work before you hit submit. Um, I understand that a lot of you like to scroll across the bottom, and if that if you got your answers right, that's great. But if you didn't get your answer right, you probably should go back and figure out where you went wrong. Um, so what percent, what is 75% of 40? The answer is a number or in the sentence, number is number of percent. And, and I'll explain that here in a second. So to find the percent of a number, you can either do it with proportion, which means that you're going to do the 75% over the 100% equals the 40 is the whole. That's the part where it gets a little tricky as it goes on the bottom. And then it has the X. And then you use your proportion, which we have been doing before, cross multiplication, 75 times 40 equals 100 times X. You're gonna multiply them together, 75 times 40 equals 3,000 equals 100x, and you'll divide both sides by the 100 so that the x is by itself. x equals 30. So your answer that you will type in is 30 or what it says, 30 is 75% of 40, okay? Assuming Ms. Vegan didn't have any little extra typos or weird things, we're gonna see that at the very end. So going back to this, that is one way that you can do it. The other way that you could just do it is to say, convert 75% to a decimal See how I did that? And then multiply it by 40. Now let's see if that works on our calculator. Clear. 0.75 times 40 equals 30. So the answer still works out the same. Um, we are going to do the next problem. Make sure we've got it. Um, again, I'm going to show you both ways. Do you have to do both ways? No, you pick. Um, some of you are going to find some different things that work for you. So my percentages is 75 over 100 equals 120 over X. So I'll rewrite it over here. 75 over 100 equals X over 120. Then across multiply 100 X equals 75 times 120, so 75 times 120 equals 9,000, big number, equals the 100x. I'm going to divide both sides by that 100. I believe I get 90. x equals 90. So let's verify that by doing it with the other method. 75%, so 75% is 0.75, the of means times 120. Let's see if our numbers match. Clear, 0.75 times 120 equals 90. So both answers say 90, therefore, I'm going to bet I can type in my answer. 90 is 75% of 120. Okay, good to go. So let's do this next one. And I'm, I've made my choice. I want to convert this. So 8%, I have to remember that I have to bounce twice. So to change this one to a decimal, that needs to be 0 0.08 of 90. So times 90. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do 0 0.08 times 90 equals 7.2. Whoops, wrong thing. So 7.2 is 
8% of 90. All right, hit next. Oh, oh, I missed one. Okay, so sorry. This is why I do it this way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I've chosen my method. Uh, the method that I like is to change this to a decimal. So 80% is the same as 0 0.80 of means multiply and then times it by 50. So I'm going to do 0 0.80 times 50 equals 40. No, something's wrong there. So I'm going to try it again. I think 0 0.80 times 50 equals 40. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to trust my calculator. So 40 is 80% of 50. All right. Hit next. Oh, this one looks a little different. I'm going to have to think about these. So, um, I've got some numbers. I'm going to read it. It says George took a 30 question math quiz. He got 10% of the questions incorrect. How many questions did he get correct? Make sure to include the units in your answer. Oh, that one's a tricky one. Why is it tricky? Because the two things don't match. He got 10% 10 of the questions incorrect, but it's asking how many he got correct. So the percent that he got correct is 90%. I try to get you quite frequently. So instead of doing 30 times 0 0.10, I need to do 30 times what he got correct, which is the 0 0.90. So let's see, 30 times 0 0.90 equals 27. So let's see. And it says to make sure include the units. So he got 20 questions. And I typed that. He got 27 questions. Correct. Okay. Next one, same situation. Let's think about it. Carol's bill for lunch was $15. She wants to leave a 20% tip. What is 20% of the bill? So that one reads more like what my other thing is. 20% of the bill. And in this case, the bill was 15 so 20%.20 of means times 15. So clear, 0 0.20 times 15, well, times 15 equals 3. And since it wants units, I'm assuming that means dollars. So I'm going to put $3. All right, let's try another one. There are 130 30, 35 students in the school orchestra. About 12% of the members of the orchestra play violin. How many students play the violin? Round your answer to the nearest whole number. Make sure to include the units in your answer. Well, there can't be a partial person, so of course it's got to be a whole number. So this is basically asking me my 135 how many students play the violin? 12%. So 12% 12 is 0 0.12. So 135 times 0 0.12. 135 times 0 0.12 equals 16.2. Well, again, can I have a 0.2 of a person? No. So 16 will be the answer. 16 students. 16 students. All right, so I've checked everything. Hopefully, I don't have any typos. Um, we should have the correct answers. Let's hit submit, cross our fingers, view my score. Woo, woo, we did it. All right, so that is your practice problems.